Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a complete tutorial on how you can use Everbee with Etsy. We will be covering how you can use Everbee to do incredible keyword research on Etsy, taking you from a struggling seller to a seller who is getting many sales per day. If you have not yet signed up to Everbee and you would like to claim a free trial, you can do so using the first link down in the description and I will meet you there. So once you click on that link, you will be taken over to this screen right here. And this is where we can get Everbee for free. So all we have to do is click on use for free right here. And then we can choose to create an account with either Google, with your Etsy account, or we can just enter our information in right here. I'm going to go ahead and do this with Google. And once you have created your account, it's now going to ask us to install the extension. Now, the Everbee extension is where 99% of the things that we will be using Everbee for, this is where we do this. So just go ahead and click on add to whichever browser you are using. And this is going to take us over to the web store. So from here, just click on add to your browser and then we can add this extension. Just like that, this extension has now been added and automatically this is going to take us over to Etsy. So let's exit out of this tutorial right here. This is all a little bit confusing, but let's first of all open up a new tab and close down all the other tabs that we have. Now, what we also want to do is click on this jigsaw icon in the top right corner to get into the extensions tab and then just go down and look for Everbee and then we want to pin this. Once you have ever be pinned in the extensions bar up here, we can simply click and turn this on and off. So we want to make sure this is on. And now let's go over to Etsy. Once we are on Etsy, you will notice on the left hand side, we now have the Everbee tool right here. So the first thing that we can do is connect up your shop by clicking on this button right here. And I now have my shop connected. So the first thing that we can do on Everbee is go to this top search bar right here. And if we start typing things in like cats, you can see that Everbee is going to load right here and it's going to show us how many monthly searches that we get for each of these categories. So this is some pretty cool data right here. And what you could even do is you could create a brand new spreadsheet and for example, list all of the categories in here. So we could say cats and then list the amount of monthly searches. So we could say like, this is 7,000 or something close to here. Then we could maybe type in uh, dad. And then we can see for dad, this has 7,800 monthly searches. So we could enter that in right here. However, this information is very basic and this doesn't show us how competitive this niche is. It really doesn't give us much data at all. So a much better thing to do, rather than just seeing how many monthly searches we get on Everbee, is we can go over to the Everbee panel on this left hand side and click into keyword research. In here, this is going to give us a much more in detail view because we can not only see how much volume this is, but we can also see the competition. And this keyword score is going to take into account the amount of volume and the competition to tell us how good overall this keyword is and how likely we are to rank for this. So once again, if I go up to this search bar and search for cats, this is the niche that I want to create in. We can see this has 7,275 monthly searches, but this competition is absolutely crazy. We have over 2 million listings listed for this, so we get a keyword score of zero. So this really wouldn't be a very good niche. Now let's go up and type in dad and see if that is any different. Once again, we have a good volume, but a crazy amount of competition. So this once again, wouldn't be a very good keyword. So maybe I will go into my spreadsheet and delete this and we'll make this top section right here, keyword. And then the second section right here, we will have as keyword score. So now let's go in and try find some keywords in here that might have a good keyword score. Van once again is going to come back as zero. So when you're doing this, it can be kind of hard to think of some niches or think of some design ideas that you might want to create. So what I would recommend doing is using this website called ChatGPT. I will leave a link down in the description. This is completely free to use. And in here, we can actually ask ChatGPT to create us some print on demand niches. So I said in here, create me 100 print on demand niches. 
and we are going to get some niches that you wouldn't really have thought of. Now, what you will also notice on chat GPT is it gives us some longer tail keywords. Now, this is something that I would absolutely recommend doing as this is going to give you a much higher keyword research score. For example, if I go back over to Everby and we just search for sloth, this is probably going to give me a keyword score between zero and 20. As we can see right here, the keyword score is 10. So this wouldn't be a very good keyword to go for because for me personally, I would need a keyword score above 100 for this even to be a niche I would think about targeting. However, if we go back over to chat GPT, we have cute sloth designs. So let's search for this instead. And usually this is going to give us a much higher keyword score. So this is 40, not really the best. So let's go through and just type all of these in and see if any of these are going to give us a keyword score above 100. So I just found a fantastic keyword right here, retro roller skating designs. And this has a keyword score of 130. So this is a keyword that I would definitely use. You can see I found it right here from chat GPT just by going down this list and pasting these all in to see which of these has a keyword score above 100. So I can now go to my list and we can paste this in and then say this has a keyword score of 130. So there's my first keyword that I just found. And just by using Everbee to do this, you are going to beat 99% of Etsy sellers that are targeting basic keywords like just cat and dad, and they are never going to rank or sell any of these designs. So you want to start off with these longer tail keywords with keyword scores above 100. And then as you get better, as you start ranking more and your seller account grows and grows, you get more reviews. Then you can start going for keywords that are a little bit higher. But when we are starting off, I would use this exact method right here, where we are just looking for all of these different designs. Let's try funny avocado puns, just as this last example. This is 20, so not the best. But I would use this method and that's how you can use this keyword research tool. Next, we will be taking a look at product analytics. So once again, we want to go to Etsy and just to show you the basics of how this works, I'm just going to type in here cat. So type in whatever you are looking for. Let's actually go for cat t-shirt. And then once you have found what you are looking for on Etsy, we can click into product analytics. And this is going to give us product analytics for the first 69 listings on cat shirt. Down here, we can see a photo of the shirt, the product name, the shop name, the price for this. And then if you pay for Everbee premium, you will also be able to see the monthly sales, monthly revenue, total sales, and we can also see some more information here. So this is a fantastic section where we can come in and we can see the best performing designs to get some inspiration from. Now, cat t-shirt is not going to be the best. I just wanted to show you this as an example. But what we can do is we can combine these tools. So now let's search for retro roller skating. And once these pop up, we can now go over and use this product analytics tool to see the best performing designs for this exact search term. So these are all going to pop up right here. To see the best designs, I'm going to go for favorites and tag this to the top. And we can see this one right here, this is a pin label badge. So you could get some inspiration from this. We also have some clip art, but you can look down here. If you pay for the premium, then you can look at these sections right here. However, if you are on the free plan, then I would look at the favorites to see which ones are performing the best. And then you can get some inspiration for what to create, the different designs you can create and everything like that. You can also favorite certain designs or certain listings by clicking on this star icon on the left hand side. Once you have these in the favorite category, we can now go over to the research tools, click into favorites, and everything that you just favorited is going to show up here so that you can create a favorite listing and stay on top of your favorite designs and listings. We can also go down to the my listing section right here, and this is going to give you an overview of your linked stock. Now this is an account that I just created for this tutorial, so nothing is going to show up here. But this section is going to show you your average total sales, the average price for your listings, the average views, average favorites, average reviews, and average conversion rates. And then it's going to show you all of your listings down here. 
Finally, we have this Etsy calculator where we can calculate how much profit you are going to make. So if you are thinking about a potential design and you want to know how much profit you can make, let's say this is a t-shirt, we are lifting this for $19.99. It has a $3 shipping price and then the cost of the item is $9. We can then calculate this and see things such as the total revenue, how much costs are going to be incurred, total fees, as well as the total profit margin and profit percentage shown here at the bottom. So hopefully going through this tutorial, you now have a much better understanding of how you can use Everbee. So that is my step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can use Everbee. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.